Hi folks, this is Carl Stitz, co-author of Precalculus, third edition by Carl Stitz and Jeff Zeger. Today we're going to show you how to compile our source code on a Windows 7 system running MCTEC. Step one is to download the source code from our website, www.stitz-zeger.com. When you download the source code, it'll be a zipped folder. So your first step is to right click and extract it to wherever you want it to go. I'm just going to extract it to the desktop. And you'll have about eight and a half megs worth of files. Now, what makes this a lot easier this time around is a wonderful batch file written by one of our fans, Antonio Alaverez. And Antonio, I hope I pronounced your name correctly. Antonio's been working with us to help debug the code for Linux users and he wrote this batch file for Windows users. Okay, the, the batch file as it's given in the download, download source code file will work on Windows XP and it'll work on um, Windows 7. I'm using Windows 7 now. Uh, so it should work on any of the Windows. If you have trouble, if you're running Windows Vista or Windows 7 and you have trouble with this file, then Antonio has alternate code here for you. So if you're, if you're running Windows Vista or Windows 7, then you would take out that remark, the REM code, and then you put REM in front of this. All right, so you'd, you basically remark out this code, put in the other code. I'm running Windows 7, and I've had no trouble at all with the code for XP, so I'm just going to leave it as is. I'm not going to save that. Okay. To run the batch file, all you got to do is double click it. And so this is a four step process. So you just let, let it do its thing. What's happening right now is it's compiling the code, and you'll see a, a stream of MP files being generated. Those are the Metapost files. Those contain all the code LaTeX needs to, uh, or Metapost needs to create all the beautiful pictures in there, all the little graphs that we have throughout the book. So that's what's going on through this first run. Once it's done, it says press any key. I just press the space key. And now what it does is it goes through and metaposts all those MP files. So now it's taking all that code and metapost is turning them into those beautiful pictures that we spent so many hours making for you folks. Once that's done, once that's done, we hit the space bar again. Now LaTeX is putting all those beautiful pictures where they belong in the code. Okay, now that that's done, we're going to press the button to make the index file. And that goes lickety-split. So now we have one more, um, one more click here, one more hit of the space button. And it will take all that information, put it all together for us, and generate the PDF, the 1,000-page pre-calculus textbook. Okay, when it's done, it'll automatically close itself down, and we can go looking for the PDF. It'll be, there it is. And there's your Precalculus 3rd Edition. So if you have any questions or any concerns, feel free to contact either me or Jeffrey, um, Carl at stitch-zeger.com or Jeff at stitch-zeger.com. We're working on getting the source code ready for the Linux folks. I'm going to install a virtual machine, uh, Ubuntu Linux, and um, Antonio tells me there are some issues with upper and lower case that Windows doesn't care about, but the uh, Linux does. Thank you very much.